What is good, everybody? Welcome back to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, guys, we have some brand new WWE action figures to take a look at. It's kind of crazy because this morning we talked about figures that we're probably going to see at Ringside Fest 2019 in November, the beginning of November, so we're about a month and maybe a week away from that Ringside Fest, guys. But here we are. We are taking a look at some brand new figures today, the same day that I uploaded that video. Let's dive right into the first thing we took a look at, or we're taking a look at, guys. And this is the Elite 2-Pack, the TLC 27. TLC Elite 2-Pack with Finn Balor and AJ Styles. My boy Finn Balor looking great here. Um, I'm so super happy, guys, that they actually changed. We saw like uh, the little uh, render images of this at Comic-Con. And it showed that it was going to have, you know, the smiling head sculpt with the chipped off paint. But they have switched it to, it looks like it's going to be that Elite 40 head sculpt. Or maybe that is the uh, the first Top Talents head sculpt painted. And I like that so much better. That is so much better than the smiling head sculpt that we got with the Top Talents 2019. Finn Balor, you guys know, it's on the ringside exclusive as well. And this one just looks so much better. It looks so freaking epic. I'm so hyped for it. But that is not all, guys. The AJ Styles looks good as well with the blue attire. But it's got the new interchangeable glasses gloves. It's got, the, it's got the open knee pads. It's got the vest. It's got the good head scan on it. And so AJ Styles looks good. It's more of a re-release, but this is the most exciting thing about the thing, guys, is look at the accessories that comes with Finn Balor, guys. We are getting a brand new smiling head sculpt, and not only that, it's got a thick beard on it, and it's not completely, you know, thick or anything, but I think we can actually edit that. We can paint that up and make it look a lot more full at the bottom. And I think when I get this head sculpt, I'm definitely going to switch it onto one of my other elites, probably add, you know, some uh, paint to it so that it looks a little bit more full like I like. And I, I really love this head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. I'm very excited for it. I think the eyes look good and everything. It's smiling head scan. You know, it's about time we got a smiling head sculpt. Now we just need a more serious head sculpt with this kind of likeness and this kind of beard. And it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. But I really do love this Finn Balor head sculpt. Not only that, but we do get the interchangeable shirt or the the shirt that we could put on our face. I don't know why I said interchangeable, but uh, we get the BC Worldwide t-shirt with the white BC logo on it. It looks really good. I can't wait to pop that head sculpt on and paint it up, give it a little bit more fuller of a look, and I think that's going to be fantastic. But that is our Elite 2-pack right there. We also have some basic 2-packs, and these, I don't know how to feel about these guys. I mean, look at the first one here. We have Rey Mysterio and Shinsuke Nakamura. It will come with the United States Championship. I guess this is like a new take on the basic championship championships as you guys can see that United States championship looks very odd it's like a basic version but it's also painted so it looks a bit weird it kind of looks like those old spinner belts we used to get back in the day when we used to get the basic championships but they add some paint to them so that is that um it just looks I don't know what it is about these figures man they just look odd um Shinsuke, we've seen this head sculpt probably 650 times, and this Rey Mysterio would look so good as an elite. I really do love the way this thing came out as far as the head sculpt is concerned, but the attire is just, they, they left out all the details, like the boots aren't accurate, the gloves aren't accurate, it, it didn't give him bicep bands, and just basics overall are just not very good. I don't know what they're doing about the basics, but I really enjoy the head sculpt. If you painted the mohawk black and maybe put it on a different, fa I just don't know how you're going to get those colors on any other array but I do love that that color scheme those freaking Charlotte Hornets colors the purple and the teal just look so good together but um, that is the first battle pack guys the second battle pack we have is Akam and Rezar we have AOPP right here and they have new head sculpts it looks like or they're a bit different um, they look pretty good. They do have a, I mean, there's nothing special about them. They're battle packs. They're basics. And, you know, it's really unfortunate where we've came with basics. I mean, they used to be so, they used to be worth the pickup because you could head swap them. You could arm swap them. You could do other fix-ups with them. And now, like, they're just a big, they're like statues. They're very hard. You can't even bend the knees without popping the boots off. And it's just really upsetting. But uh, they do come with kendo sticks. And one of the kendo sticks is broken. So that's pretty cool. It's the first time we're seeing that. And this is a, a a return to accessories coming with our battle packs. I think this is the first set starting back with that. I could be wrong about that. Maybe they started a couple series ago, but I think this is the first series back to including accessories. But there's the second battle pack. The third battle pack that we have, guys, is Andrade, Cien Almas, and Zelina Vega. And this one looks great. I think Zelina looks fantastic. I think that head sculpt, that, that freaking... 
uh, sculpt they used for her face, and the true effects look so good. It looks just like her. It's same thing with Andrade. I do think that's the same head sculpt that we got with his ringside exclusive slash NXT elite figure. I think that looks really good as well. Um, one thing I will add is he does come with his mask, so you do see his mask there, and uh, Vega does come with a microphone that you know that uh, I feel like they just throw in there anytime they're missing an accessory, but those two figures look good. I'm actually excited for both of those, so uh, I, I, I don't know if I'll grab it, but I am excited eventually. If I see it in stores, I will pick it up for Vega. Um, the other two battle packs I'll most likely pass on, but looking at some of these other basics, guys, we have a Miz basic, which I don't think you guys really care. I mean, it's just your basic black attire, and it does have the Elite Series 69 head sculpt, and it's pretty, yeah, it's the exact same, I'm pretty sure the exact same uh, head sculpt from the Elite Series 69, so no point really in buying this Miz. I don't know why you would buy this. You know, you can't head swap it. There's no point in head swapping it since we just got Elite Series 69 Miz. This Jeff Hardy, this Jeff Hardy looks good. Like, I, I like that we're getting new face paints and stuff and you could head swap this onto the Chase variant Elite Series 67 Jeff to give you, you know, a different, uh, uh, you know, to convert this basic into an Elite. But it looks like they painted the eyes light blue. Is that, am I insane or is that what, it looks like they painted the, the eyes light blue and if that's the case I'm going to have to repaint that. I wish we could get a different head sculpt. Like, I know we got the screaming one, but that's, that, the the screaming one and then this one is like the only head sculpts that we get. And while it's a good head sculpt, I'm just waiting on, you know, a new head sculpt. So that's just something to add right there. I do like that we're getting the face paint, though. I like the light blue color. I just wish that I, I'm going to have to paint the eyes white because that I do think they accidentally painted it blue, and that's going to bother me. So I'm going to have to switch that out. Next up, we have a Constable Trash Corbin figure, guys. And this one is just a big baffle. I don't know who the hell that is, but it is not Trash Corbin. Look at that. Like, they gave him, like, a short afro or something. He's not completely bald. I mean, I can't... Don't get me wrong, I can do my technique where I make him bald and everything, so that won't be a big issue. But what about those people that don't customize? What about the people who want to just buy a figure straight up? I think that's pretty upsetting that they don't have, you know, the, the bald-headed head sculpt there. It's, like, got a short afro and his hair. Like, I do, I don't have a picture of it here, but on the back it does sort of, sort of have, like, a fade to it. So it's not, you know, completely black, but it does not look good from the front in these images. But uh, regardless, you got TGIF. Uh, Friday's Trash Corbin right here, the new King of the Ring, and I don't know, man, I, I, I'll i definitely have to do some customization when I get this, but, I mean, he's already switched his attire now, so this is not even accurate, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got it now, and we're going to have to just work with what we got. Next up, guys, we have a brand new Seth Rollins, and this one is interesting. It's the SummerSlam 2018 attire, the Thanos attire, and uh, it does come with his gold boot. It's got his gold knee pad on there. No Infinity Stones included, but it does have this brand new Seth Rollins head sculpt, and we talked about this this morning a little bit. We talked about this head sculpt, and I really don't know how to feel about it. I feel like uh, it needs to be darker. The hair needs to be darker. The, the eyebrows and the beard needs to be darker. And maybe if, you know, we painted that, maybe it would look a lot better. We'll have to see once we get it in our hands and we paint it up and head swap it onto an Elite to see what it looks like. It kind of looks like the head sculpt may be a little bit too big, but we'll have to see. Maybe not. I don't know. As zoomed, in, as zoomed out, it really doesn't look that bad. But I really wish this was an Elite. And I really don't know if this head sculpt is going to be better than the top talents. It kind of just seems like... I don't know. I wish this was more serious face. You know, it kind of just looks like he has a blank stare on his face. Like, he's just kind of washed out and, like, kind of just zooming, you know, or staring off into space is what it kind of looks like to me. It doesn't really look like... Uh, you know, a, a, a facial expression. It just looks blank. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, it's a kind of, do you guys agree with me or am I just seeing things? Um, but I, I, think, I think if you had some BEW magic and you could make that like face pissed off, I think it would be a freaking excellent head sculpt. So we'll see what we can do there. But uh, there is the Seth Rollins basic. And the last basic that we have, guys, is this Drake Maverick figure uh, when he was running around with AOPP and, you know, he was pissing himself and things of that nature. But uh, this head sculpt's not bad. I like it. You know, I'm not a big fan of the basic. I just hate the this whole, like, mm, man, these basics are just terrible. It's just The figures just look cartoony or something. I don't know what it is. Even though the head sculpts look good, it's just like some figures just look terrible. And I don't know what it is. But uh, there's Drake Maverick. It's cool to have him. You know, you can plug him into your current rosters and your 24-7 championships if you want to have matches like that. And you have him running around your shows and things of that nature. But 
There's Drake Maverick. He goes hand-in-hand -hand with your battle pack of the AOPP. You have Zinalina Vega and Andrade Cianamas. You have Shinsuke and Ray. You have the Finn Balor and AJ Styles battle pack, or battle pack, two, elite two pack, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And then you have a Miz, Hardy, Trash Corbin, and Rollins basic. And I am excited for this basic wave. I think this basic wave actually has some things that, you know, you might want to pick up because it's the first time in the live Drake Maverick. You have your Trash Corbin head sculpt and bald. You have your Thanos, Seth Rollins with your, your uh, new head sculpt. You have your Jeff Hardy face paint, and then the Miz is probably the only one you wouldn't want. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you think of everything that we have seen here today. If you missed today uh, earlier's video, definitely go check that out because we talked about you know everything that we're probably going to see at Ringside Fest, and some of this stuff was included right here. So that's pretty cool that we're going to uh, be uh, you know we don't have to worry about seeing it because we've seen the images already. But I'm sure this stuff will be on display. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. If we get any more images, I will be posting them up to you guys so definitely be on the lookout but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you